Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. For my personal remarks, please stay until the end of this video. Today's story is about a well-known doctor named Farid Fada, who was a hematologist and an oncologist based in the United States. Dr. Fada was born in Lebanon and completed his residency in a Brooklyn hospital. He specialized in treating blood cancer and received many awards for his contribution to the medical world. He was a successful owner of Michigan-based hematology oncology practice known as MHO. This happened to be one of the largest and prestigious cancer practices in Michigan. He diagnosed many people with cancer-related issues and conditions. In 2013, a 50-year-old woman named Monica Flagg was diagnosed with multiple myeloma by Dr. Fada. For those of you who have not heard about MM before, it is a condition that requires chemotherapy for the rest of one's life in order to basically survive. After her first round of chemotherapy, Monica had happened to break her leg and required immediate medical attention. Unfortunately, at the time, Dr. Fada was on a vacation in his home country, Lebanon, and eventually one of Fada's colleagues named So Mongle was required to attend to Monica immediately. Due to her cancer and broken legs, her case was extremely sensitive and therefore multiple tests were run once again by So Mongle. What happens next would unleash a storm for thousands of patients of Dr. Fada. So Mongle was shocked to see normal reports, no issues in sight whatsoever, no cancer in Monica's blood. Mongle informed Monica that she in fact did not have cancer. While it was good news for her, he immediately told her to never return to Fada's practice. At this point, Mongle investigated MHO's records and found numerous cases of patients being treated with aggressive and heavy drugs and chemotherapy without any underlining medical issues in those patients. At this point, it was clear something sinister was taking place as there were minimal to no underlining issues and patients were still being treated with chemotherapy as a result of cancer in their blood. A little after this, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, got involved in this case when George Karadashe tipped FBI. George was MHO's office manager, and Mongle and George were not the only ones who suspected Fada's aggressive chemo regimen, and few others were threatening to leave the place immediately. And that is when George decided to tip FBI with respect to all the data that he had on his hand in MHO and its records. Fera was initially held on a 170k bond, which was later raised to $9 million due to flight risk. It was concluded that around 553 people were deceived into getting chemotherapy. It was also concluded that over $34 million in fraudulent activities was paid to Dr. Fada's practice. In order to avoid deportation to Lebanon, Fada pleaded guilty before the federal judge. He also pleaded guilty to 13 counts of healthcare fraud, one count of conspiracy to pay and receive kickbacks, and two counts of money laundering. Finally, Fada received a 45-year sentence in prison. While Fada's sentence was finalized, many victims and their families were unhappy as the 45-year sentence seemed to be too short for someone who impacted more than 500 people and their families. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment so I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. Now, this is the end of the story, but in my personal opinion, I agree. People who are charged for attempted murder receive life sentences, if not worse. Then why not here? He practically was pushing hundreds of people towards their death. The 45-year sentence, in my opinion, is too short for somebody who committed so many crimes only and only for his greed for money and power and status. Anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, I would genuinely like to thank you for your support. I am a brand new content creator and every view matters to me. 
If you feel generous today, please like this video and subscribe. When uploading this video, unfortunately, I have no subscribers at all. If you decide to subscribe to me, please know you have made my day, if not my week. Anyways, thank you so much and I hope you have very happy holidays.